If I could honestly describe lockdown, it would literally be this outfit right now. Boring, bland, and just a bit of a fucking mess to be honest. But anyways, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have for you guys a haul video today because I feel like it's actually been a while and I wasn't going to do this at start when this whole thing like got announced because I was like, oh, the last thing people want to do is be shopping. But it's turned out to be the complete opposite and to be honest, everybody's online shopping at the minute. So I thought I would bring a haul back because the lovely girls over at Boohoo kind of sent over some products for me to haul for you guys. This isn't sponsored, however, they were all gifted to me. And I will leave all the links to the items in the description box if you are interested. But I have two very large, if I can get them, <sighs> Boohoo bags here, which we are going to go through. And I'm very excited because there is some good stuff in here. Well, it looks like it online, so let's just hope that it is in real life. But we're going to go through these bags and I'm very excited. You want to say hi with your what's it dust all over you. She's absolutely coated in what's it dust powder. Also, I'm standing up again today because it's just so much easier. I feel like more free. I can just move around instead of like just sat down cramped in a screen. You guys can just see everything a lot better when I'm here. So, here's what we are going to do. Let's get into the first bag. Shall we? What is in here? I'll just pop that in the background there. First thing we have is actually a little accessory. Now, if you guys saw my Instagram story the other day, I had a picture of me wearing a black bucket hat and I thought it looked quite crap. I only had it on because my hair needed washing. It was so lovely greasy. But you guys were all like bigging me up. He was like, oh my God, it looks so nice. And I was like, oh, thank you. So I thought I'd try it out again. I mean, I'm still a bit like, eh, unsure. But I have a little satin like cream bucket hat. And these also look really nice. I've seen so many girls on Instagram style these bucket hats and they look so cute. And I thought, I want to do that. So we have one here. Like Ta-da! The only thing is, it's gonna need to like sit out for a bit to get the creases out because it does look a little bit funny at the minute. But this seems a lot bigger than my black one that I have, so I'm kind of scared it's just gonna like drown me. But we'll try it on and see. But yeah, I purposely wore my head off this video just because I knew I did have a hat. I mean, I said that anyway. I wear my head on pretty much every day. But anyways, how does this go? Is this the back? I don't know. I feel like. See, this one is so much bigger than my black one, so I feel like I just look a bit funny and it's really slippery because it's like a satin material. It's like I can't get it to sit on my head. Ah, I just pulled my hair out. I can't get it to like sit on my head properly. Oh, I don't, don't know how I feel about this one. Because like black, I feel like it's really easy to style, like it's just like a simple little bucket hat, but this is quite out there with like the shiny iridescence. You guys have to let me know. I feel like it's just a bit, it's like too long here, so it's like covering my eyes and then if I tip it back it like sticks up too much here so I look like I'm like Justin Timberlake back in the day or a little bit of Neo or whoever wore these weird looking hats where they're like but anyways yeah this is the first item it's a little bucket hat next thing in the bag is a little pyjama set because there's literally all I've been living in pyjamas, joggers boring clothes like this basically and I saw these I was like oh that might spice up things a little bit I mean not that I'm seeing anyone to impress but these were cute anyway but like some little net pajamas so the top looks like this it's like a cute little lace pattern triangle detail kind of similar to the zebra ones i've shown in one of my other videos and it's all like see-through mesh and it has these cute little straps and then i also picked up the matching bottoms which just look like this these i absolutely love i feel like chinsia has something similar to this i've seen something like this on her instagram and they're so pretty. They have this in black and red as well, but I saw the white and I was like, I'm just imagining this with a tan. Yes, yes, yes. Some cute little underwear underneath, just like peeking its way through. <sighs> Feeling it. And yeah, you do actually buy these separately. They don't come as a set. But I feel like that's better because then you can like choose the right size. Like if you want a more tighter top and a more loose fit bottom. Or if you want a tighter bottom and a loose fit top. Like, <coughs> bless you. Completely custom can't speak, customizable, you know? But yeah, these are honestly one of my favorite things. I'm just so bloody obsessed. Like, look how pretty and like dainty they are. Especially with this hair now, I just feel like an angel. Wow. Angel. Wow. I sound so big headed, I'm gonna shut up. Anyways, next. You guys will literally know the hype around tie-dye at the minute. Like it is genuinely like the biggest trend of 2020 so far. And I am a, a fan. I'm a fan. And I saw this and I was like, oh my god, I need you. Because I do actually have a pink tie-dye top, which I got from Boohoo back in September, which is like one of my faves. I wear it all the time. And I saw this and it's pretty much the exact same thing apart from it has a pattern on the front. But it is a Disney-themed pink oh, tie-dye top. Look at that. So oversized. I actually picked this up in a small, so it's actually quite big for a small 
super slouchy and she's got the Cheshire Cat on it and it says did you sit off with the heads and I thought it was just so cute like I love a good bright colour and I feel like this with like nothing on underneath just like a cute little baggy t-shirt some little pink socks would be such a cute quarantine fit I mean I say this like everybody's making an effort this lockdown as you can see I'm clearly not but it's nice to just think things like that in I just love a good bit of tie-dye the back of it's completely plain pink and white I thought it was really cute and literally it's so hard to get hold of anything tied at the minute because it's all sold out so I was very shocked I managed to get this but I'm obsessed and literally going to be putting this on straight after this video is finished. I mean obviously because I'm going to film trying clips but I mean I'm going to keep it on throughout the day, you know? Now this next thing, if you guys follow me on Instagram, again you'll know I'm obsessed with this colour at the minute, especially since dyeing my hair this sort of ginger colour which I'm not going to lie, at the minute it's not looking too great because it's faded a lot so I kind of need to brighten it up so if you guys have any suggestions of what I can do to get this more of like a gingery bright like corally colour again, do let me know. But this colour, don't know what you call this, jade, turquoise, teal, I don't know, it's honestly to be my obsession, I don't know what it is about this and the ginger together but I'm just in love and obsessed. But this is one of the sort of keyhole tops like my black crop top which I have and I just love the stylist so much. The only thing is I had to get this in a six so I'm kind of a bit nervous about the whole cut out here if it's going to flash too much today because I don't really have anything to you know put on show but I guess we'll soon see when we try it on. But this is kind of more of like a dressy up thing. I mean you could definitely style this down with a pair of joggers but this is the more kind of normal-ish clothing I've bought that's not like loungewear but I really like this and I'm just praying to god that it fits because I'm obsessed with this colour okay right next and you guys know by now if I like something I'll literally buy it in every colour so I also picked it up in the white because I actually did have this in a crop top version like the black one which I own but I honestly don't know what I did with it literally fell off the face of the earth disappeared don't know where that's gone but I thought the bodysuit version was a lot cuter anyway because this with little grey joggers this outfit right now I mean it's pretty much the exact same thing but with the cut out <laughs> We look so many cute again tan don't really need to explain too much because it's literally the exact same thing you've just seen but in a different color but they also do this in black as well if you are interested don't know if it's see-through or not yet which we'll just soon see that when we come to it but i bloody love how cute i love this style next also please excuse my whole oh jesus my necklace energy in this video i did have a little bit to drink before filming this okay next Again, another white item. Just love white with a nice orange tan and orange hair at the minute. But this is a really pretty low scoop little frilled ribbed hem, whatever you want to call it, crop top. Again, this with grey joggers. I'm just buying so many basics at the minute that I can just wear with my joggers because this is literally what I've been living in. So it's just nice to have a few little mix and match tops. But just envision this for these joggers. How cute would that look? Yes. Yeah, I thought that was really nice and dainty. Another little nice basic long sleeve to add to my wardrobe. I say wardrobe, I have five drawers over there which cannot fit any more clothing so I really need to stop oh. and have oh, a good clear yeah. out. I was clearly feeling very adventurous when I placed this order because I have some zebra print. Look at this, oh my god this with my new hair, yes! It is basically a long sleeve high neck mesh zebra bodysuit. And I'm not going to lie, I don't usually gravitate towards zebra. I picked up a pyjama set like this in one of my last videos and I'm honestly obsessed with it. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to give some more zebra a try. And especially with this hair, I'm just, it's such a vibe. I don't know what I would wear this with. I mean, you guys can let me know how you'd style this. Probably wear it with like some black mum jeans, something with some white little trainers. Basically how I style every other thing. But yeah, I thought this was really pretty and I just love a good mesh long sleeve. I feel like it's so like flattering against the skin with a nice little black lacy bralette underneath. This could look hella cute. Yeah, I was just vibing it. I thought, why not give it a go? So that is the next little item. Then again, another basic. I'm sorry, this video is literally all just basics because that is what I lack in my wardrobe. But this is a seamless, it was called a seamless long line lounge bra. But it's kind of just like a little crop top which has like no seams. It looks a bit like a gym sports bra. But they had this in so many colours, like a really nice pretty nude colour. But the only one they had left in stock was the black. But it just looked so cute on the model. I was like, I need this in my life. Pick this up in a size extra small and it's just the everyday little basic top. I am so sorry this video is boring you guys. Like I'm just trying to make it fun, but all I'm doing is showing you clothes, so, like it's not really working, and I'm like, Wah. my head's like, <sighs> please bear with. I'm struggling. Let's move on to 
the next bag, ladies and gents. What have we in here? This I'm so excited for. If you guys watched my previous Day in the Life video, I showed like a really nice oversized Friends t-shirt, which I've been wearing non-stop, obsessed. So I took a little look in the men's section in Boohoo and found this. I love a good black oversized t-shirt. And this is a men's small, but it is absolutely massive. Like I just love feeling like I'm being drowned in the clothes. But this is an Amy Winehouse t-shirt. It just says back to black. I used to be such a big Amy Winehouse fan as a kid. I don't really listen to her music anymore, but I thought this was really cute. But yeah, this is literally massive. Like if I stand up, this goes to like just above my knees. It is like a t-shirt dress. But I definitely recommend looking in the men's section in Boohoo because a lot of the time they actually have better things mm. than the women's section. So, a little, little hack for you there, but yeah, very, very, very excited to wear this and it's just going to be so comfy. You know those days where you just don't want to get dressed but you don't want to sit in jammers? Whack on somewhere like this and you're good to go. How cute. Now, I did actually pick these up with that t-shirt in mind to wear them underneath it, but obviously that t-shirt is a lot bigger than expected, so you probably wouldn't even see these shorts. But I'm going to show you them anyway because this feel, so bloody soft, is actually a joke. I don't even know how you would describe this because it's not like regular cotton cycling shorts. It's like brushed cotton, is that what you call it? I don't know, but it literally feels like, I don't know. It's a whole other level of softness basically. But they're like these cute little black cycling shorts. Got them in an extra small. But then the bottom of them have this cute little like lace sort of hem. I don't know if you guys can see that. But when that's against your leg, it looks so pretty. With a little black t-shirt. Obviously not as oversized as that one because you wouldn't be able to see them. But I feel like something like that with that just poking out the bottom with the little lace just has a different little touch. Whack on some Nike socks and some trainers and you have a cute little look. But I just cannot get over how soft this is. Like I cannot explain to you guys. Like if this was like a cushion or a pillow or like a duvet sheet, I'll be straight up on that. It's just so blue soft. But yeah, I have a feeling these are going to sell out very quick. So if you guys are interested, grab them while you can because they are so unbelievably comfy. Going to be living in these throughout the rest of lockdown, which I hopefully, fingers crossed, isn't too much longer because I'm losing the will to fucking live. Again, I feel like I should just title this video like lazy lockdown outfit haul because I got another hoodie but I didn't actually have a really nice I think this is called like Mal is it? Not too sure or Ash Ash Grey I don't know but it is one of these sort of like light wash grey hoodies but again it's just a good bloody staple I just love a light wash grey again with a turn oh my god how many more times do you want to say that Amy but yeah it's really nice got a big hood so you can like tighten yourself up in it when you don't want to see the world. Has a big pocket at the bottom, very slouchy, very comfy. Just something fun to have. I feel like everyone at the minute is just ordering like hoodies, joggers, leggings, cycling shorts. So this is like, it's the perfect thing. Speaking of, I did actually pick up some joggers, which I did not expect to be this material. I don't know how you describe it. It's kind of like a fleecy, almost teddy bear, but not really. And they're like these cream, are they cream or are they white? No, they're cream cream joggers and they actually have the little cuffs at the bottom which I love and believe it or not they actually sit snug as a bug around my ankle which never happens so I'm very happy about that. The only thing is the waistband um, kind of like what do you call it elastic is very like thick and it like moves around a lot so I might have to try and like tighten this myself but these are so soft and chill that I'm going to be living in this. The little white bralette would look so bloody cute. Just did not expect to see this material I don't really know how to describe it it's just like it's like a teddy bear it's like fluffy. It's really nice and cosy though. Definitely good for the kind of like up and down weather we're having at the minute. One minute it's sunny, one minute it's rainy, one minute it's st storming. Like it just needs to be a quick mind. But it's good to always have something like this in your wardrobe for those grey days. So of course I can't only pick up one thing in one colour. And I also picked them up in black. Exact same thing, that fluffy material going at the bottom. Just a good basic jogger. I mean I already own black joggers but so fucking what, you know? If I want more pairs, I'm going to get more pairs. One pair's in the wash, one pair's on my bod. You know what I'm trying to say? And I still didn't have enough, so I also picked it up in grey, which is here. Ooh. Now this one is kind of like a different grey. This is the one I pulled out first and I was like, okay, this is definitely not your typical jogger material. You might be able to see it better with this one. It kind of feels like felt. Yeah, it's like felt. Like fuzzy felt, that's what it feels like. But you can see it has like a super thick waistband. They do actually have pockets, forgot to mention that. But I just love how tight they actually fit around the ankle. These are the first joggers I've found that actually sit like that, which I'm just 
shocked by. But these are a size 4, size 4 in all the joggers I picked up, but yeah. I mean, this is honestly the least fun haul you've ever seen in your life because I've literally just picked up everything but in different colours. Your gal loves her joggers, as you can quite really tell. The last thing I picked up wasn't anything to do with clothing or nothing. I just got a new little Real Techniques sponge because if you guys don't know you can actually buy like beauty as well as clothing on Boohoo which is always helpful, you can get everything in like one shop. But I made a new sponge for the longest time and this actually comes with these little plastic case you can put it in so it doesn't like collect dust and stuff like that which I think is so smart and I think this is only like £6 or £7 so you get like a case for the same price as a regular Real Techniques sponge with the sponge as well so absolute bargain, bloody love that and I'm very excited to have a brand new clean sponge because Mine is looking manky as hell, like you do not want to see that, she is dusty, she is crusty, she is and not cute. But yeah, that was it for my boohoo haul, sorry about my whole energy in this video, like I said, I really, I'm just, my head's all over the place, I'm trying to stay normal, I'm trying to stay fun, I'm trying to still create some content for you guys, but I'm a bit like up and down all over the place, so if that came across this video, I do apologise. But I hope you guys did enjoy it nonetheless, and like I said, I'll leave all links down below if you are interested, and also a big thank you to Boohoo for sending over these. It is always a pleasure. And um, with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! S O S, never guess, cause I know Mama told me that I'm blessed, but he never on the show. Get impressed, cause I'm dope. You don't smoke, what you mean? Keep it potent as the green, so you know this happy tree.